and language therapy can give a child a way to communicate. And a segment sponsored by Hope Therapy Speech and Language Clinic. Helsey Chono and Jen Newhouse are here to tell us more about the work that they do with their company. To both of you, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. Thanks for having us. So I love the name. What, what is Hope Therapy? Um, Hope Therapy is a private practice that um, where we see children for speech therapy. And um, we believe that everyone deserves the gift of communication. And so we want to be the professionals to help give that to um, children. And um, our therapy is very individual. Oftentimes we get asked, what, how long does therapy last? Mm -hmm. um, and it's so hard to answer that because every child is different. So sometimes it's a couple months, sometimes um, it's a couple years, and um, it just depends on each child. So, Well, I was going to yes. ask, you know, who are you guys usually seeing come in? Because, you know, sometimes parents worry right away when they aren't saying those first words quick enough. So right. what is the typical person who you guys are seeing? Yeah, the population that we currently see is primarily pediatric patients. So right now it's about like one years old up to 21 years old. Both Chelsea and I have over 10 years of experience each serving both pediatric, adult, and geriatric. So eventually we might expand and grow our population in our clinic. But the kids that we see now typically are those late talkers. Some of them have speech um, delays. They are, you know, articulation isn't quite um, development, mm -hmm. developing. Um, some of those kids are seen in the schools as well mm -hmm. as coming to our private practice. Um, the common disorders, autism, Down syndrome, language delays, speech delays, sometimes um, stuttering, fluency disorders. Yeah. Sometimes feeding and swallowing disorders. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Why I guess least. if you, I were to bring my child to you guys, kind of walk me through how it works, and then are there some other things that if I even just have questions, can I come in and go, hey, I'm just kind of getting a gut feeling here. Can you help give me a diagnosis? Or right, absolutely, Chris. Um, we, you know, you as parents and individuals um, know your child the best. And so if you have that gut instinct, absolutely give us a call. Um, contact your pediatrician. Um, we kind of cringe sometimes we hear, well, I would have come in sooner, but um, the pediatrician said that um, boys are later talkers than girls. And um, early intervention is so, so important. And so we just, we encourage you, give us a call. Um, doesn't matter what your concern is, just reach out to us because we want to be there to help. What are some of those signs then or those kind of red flags that parents should keep their eye out for? You know, some of the parents that call, they, they often say, oh, our little one isn't using as many words as their brother or their sister or their, their peers. Um, some of them have trouble understanding their child. Their speech um, sounds are, are a little bit distorted or incorrect. Um, other times, our kiddos have trouble understanding and comprehending directions, following directions, so it's that auditory comprehension that they struggle with, the language portion of it. Um, like Chelsea said, we offer free screenings, so if you do have any concerns, free screening, you can come in. It's a 10 to 15 minute consult, and if we feel like further evaluation is necessary, then we can help you contact your doctor, get a referral, and get you in for a full assessment. That's mm -hmm. nice. You can't yeah. get a free screening. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So then how, how do people get a hold of you? Where are you located at? We are located at 2512 C South Washington in Grand Forks in between the Rydell Car Wash and Caribou Coffee. <laughs> um, and our phone number is 701-330-4818. Um, and stop in anytime if you have concerns. Um, we're more than happy to visit with you in person. One thing I'd ask so. too, I mean, do you, I'm assuming you guys have a website if you want to give that out, but you know, we live in obviously a pretty rural state. Can people Skype into you and do that kind of stuff too yet? Or You know, right now we don't have telemed, but um, that is definitely something that we hope to get in the future. Um, you, we can also be found on Facebook at Hope Therapy Speech and Language Clinic, so reach out to us there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice too, just knowing if you have any questions or concerns, Absolutely. you might as well bring your right. child in, yes. get yes. that baseline assessment, and then yes. go yes. from there on a plan. Yeah, don't wait. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you, yes. guys. Thank you Thank for you. having us. We appreciate Thank you. it. All right, stay with us. Much more coming up right after this.